Hi, James with the OneHourSmartHome.com here, and today we're going to show you how to link your Ring doorbell to Amazon Alexa. This allows you to use your Ring doorbell and stream the live video stream from your Ring doorbell on an Echo Show device like the Echo Show, Echo Show 5, Echo Spot, or any other Alexa device with a screen, including uh, Alexa Fire TV Cube or the Alexa Fire TV Stick. So uh, first thing you're going to do is click on the Alexa app. We're going to go in here and you need to make sure that you've got your Ring doorbell installed and set up on the Ring account and that you have the Alexa skill set up and installed or the Alexa app set up and installed. So once you're in the app uh, to navigate, you go up here in the upper left. That is the menu button. You're going to click on that. And what we're going to do is add a skill or game. So if you've never added a skill before, a skill is like an app for Alexa. It adds additional functionality to your voice speaker, your voice assistant, and will allow you to add your ring doorbell to your Echo Show so that you can view it on here. So we're just going to go up here and we're going to search ring, R-I-N-G, and see what pops up. So it says uh, ring, turn on my porch light. Uh, we're going to click on that one. This is the skill to use to connect your Ring doorbell to your Echo Show. Now, this gets uh, like a 2.5 star rating. What I say about that, and I've said it in other videos, is that a lot of people don't follow the instructions for this, and then they give it a low rating. It's actually very simple. I've never had any issues with the apps and adding skills to a smart home device. They usually work pretty well. What people get tripped up on is how to use the commands to show a device on Alexa or Echo Show. So it's important that you use the syntax here and just read through these instructions for a minute or two and it's going to make it much easier. The key is that you have to use the name of the device. Whatever you've named the device in your Ring app, that's what you need to use to be able to control it on Echo Show or Alexa. So all we're going to do now is uh, go click enable, enable skill, and then now it's going to have us log in to ring. Uh, hopefully, I remember my password here. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So this might take us one or two takes. We'll see here. Let's see what happens. So that is not correct. So we're going to keep trying here, and let's see if I can get it this time. Passwords, there are a gazillion of them these days, so let's see if I got it. Okay, so it did let me in. I got the password correct on the second time here, and uh, you just want to read through this. It says, authorize application. Alexa would like permission to your account. Access all Ring devices. Access third-party devices linked to Ring and access your Ring account settings. If you want to revoke this permission at any time, you can do so. So we're going to authorize here, click on that button. Okay, now it says Ring has successfully been successfully linked. Close this window to discover smart home devices you can control with Alexa. So this is an important step that a lot of people miss out on or forget about is that you need to close this window okay and now it's going to discover your devices so you can't just x out of this go to another app you want it to discover devices so that it will find those new devices that you have connected to echo show that's kind of the whole point of this is that you when you do a skill you're connecting the devices and it takes Alexa a minute to find those and put them in the database of devices that you can control from Alexa now that you've connected the skill. So don't forget about this. This is one of those things about instructions. Just follow the instructions and this is gonna work out good for you to be able to add your Ring doorbell to Alexa or Echo Show. So this is how you connect Alexa to Ring. All right, this may take up to 45 seconds. Let's see what it discovered. No new devices found, that's fine. You'll find new devices. I don't because I've already connected these multiple times. So we will here we go. 
popped up there. And uh, so now you're gonna see all these devices up here at the top, different lights, thermostats, everything. So we're gonna click on uh, cameras because we've got all kinds of different cameras here, but uh, we're gonna click on front door. That is the doorbell and you've got settings here. You can edit the name. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of different stuff with this doorbell. And we're just gonna show you here, if we go to home, let's see if this will pop up. Okay, so we're in the home screen and uh, to view the camera, you would just go back to devices and uh, you could see it here under cameras and there it is again. But now let's say we want to uh, be able to actually see it on our Alexa device. I'm gonna show you how to do that here uh, just real quick. So now you are probably seeing the screen here with Alexa. I'm gonna unmute it. Alexa, show me front door. Okay. And there you go. You can see uh, Alexa on here and you can see how we did that. And then uh, if you wanted to communicate two way, you could Sorry, communicate. I don't know that. You could communicate two way with the person at the front door by turning the microphone on. You can zoom in a little bit there. That's intended for larger and smaller displays, but uh, this is the Echo 5, so kind of a smaller display. Uh, that is how you connect your uh, ring doorbell to Alexa. Thank you. Please uh, subscribe, like this video, this channel. If you want to support us, you can click on any of the links below. We will see you next time or visit us at onehoursmarthome.com.